you are welcome and i hope you are ready for another perfect lesson and for our today's i've prepared for you something to do with contract accounts that is in cost accounting or management accounting like you have given a particular question here you told that diba contractors was contracted by Zimot Limited to build an office block at a price of 6 million. Then the following information relates to the contract for the year ended 31st December uh, 2017. So we have balances as at 1st January 2017. Those are the balances at the beginning of that contract agreement. Now you talk about a contract. You talk about an agreement between two parties that is the contractor and the contractee the contractee is the party to whom work is supposed to be done while the contractor is the party who performs the work like in this case diba contractors who was construct, uh, co uh, contracted is the contractor then the contractee becomes the zimat limited now Many, we have materials on site as at the opening of the date. We have plant on site, plant on purchases, as in plants that were purchased. We have subcontractors' fees. Those are the fees pay fees that was paid to contract labor contractors. We have value of work certified. Work certified means the work which has been verified to be satisfactory by this particular owner of the, of the work. Of the, then you have direct wages. These are paid to the workers on site. Materials purchased, again. We have inspection and consultancy fee. Of course, we have to inspect the site if there's any hazard elements and all that. Hire of machinery. Maybe this contractor did not have enough machinery, so they had some. Then you have general expenses on site. Then the cost of work not yet certified means this is um, the value of work where the, the 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 amount which has been which was incurred as work was being done, but but has not yet been verified to be satisfactory. Then we have electricity pay. This is another expense. And then we are given additional information. We are told that it is the policy of the company to transfer two thirds of the notional profit to the income statement. Now, we are talking about notional profit. This one simply refers to the amount of profit which comes as a result of the difference between the value of work and the cost of work done. Just like the same case in an income statement, whereby we normally have the grow uh, the profit, which is as a result of the selling price minus the buying price. So we have that particular scenario. But you're told that two thirds of the national profit is transferred to the national to the income statement. It means this two third is will be referred to as the profit taken. So it means a third, which is the difference, is the profit which is not taken. In other words, the profit that is in suspense. Then, as of 31st December 2017, we also give a materials on site, plant on site, and electricity paid in advance. So these are the materials remaining at the end of the contract period. It means they were not utilized. They are told prepare a contact account for the year and the 31st December 2017. Now, this particular question, we are supposed to have the normal T format. So we have the name of the uh, contractor, contact account for the year and the 31st December 2017. <coughs> then you realize that on the debit side, we are supposed to enter those values which increases what is supposed to be paid to these contractors. Okay? 
any amount which is supposed to increase what is being paid to the contractors is supposed to be debited. At the same time, we also debit those values or those amount of assets or those assets worth which are going to be available in the contract exercise throughout the period. While on the credit side, we are supposed to enter those values and in most cases we are talking about values which have not been utilized or which remains at the end of the contract period. What reduces what contractors are supposed to be paid. Like in this case, we are talking about the closing materials at the end of the contract period. Okay. So, with that all in mind, I want us to begin our journey. So, we have the balances at 35, that is the opening balances brought down for materials. So, for materials on site, the materials on site was an amount of 180,000. Then again, we have plant on site, which in, which actually will form part of the contraction. So we have plant on site, plant on site, which is a value of 1.8 million. <coughs> again, we have the plant on purchases plant on purchases this is a this is a, an equipment which was bought which is 2 million again we have some contractor fee which is the subcontractor fee fee which is an amount of 50,000. We have value of work certified. Now this one, we are going to treat it uh, later. I'll show you how we go about that. Next, we're supposed to have direct wages. Direct wages, which is an amount of 300,100. Materials purchased next should be the materials purchased to be used is four hundred four hundred thousand. We have inspection and <coughs> sorry inspection and consultancy fee. So we have the inspection fee. Can just put in fashion in inspection fees of an amount of eighty thousand. Then we have next to the hire machinery, which is form as a part of additional machinery hire of machinery, which is an amount of one fifty thousand. Then we have general expenses which were incurred in the site. So we have general expenses, which is 420,000. And then next, we're supposed to have cost. We have the cost, the cost of work not yet certified again we, we will treat it later so we have these two values value of work satisfied and the cost of work not yet certified i'll show you how we treat it then the next value that you're supposed to have is electricity paid so you're supposed to have electricity paid which is also another expense as amount of 200,000. 
Then on the credit side, you're supposed to have the items which were either not utilized or remained at the end of the period or reduces what contractors are supposed to receive. <coughs> so we have the first one should be the materials on site which was carried down which we carried down is to fifty thousand so we have an amount of two fifty thousand next is the plant on site so we have the plant on site at the end of this particular period which is two million two hundred thousand and electricity paid in advance it means these particular contractors paid an amount of these 155,000 which was supposed to be used in the process but was not used so in other words it again reduces what they're supposed to earn so it's supposed to credit that one so it's supposed to be electricity electricity prepayment so prepayment means was paid in advance. Again, you're supposed to credit, which is an amount of 155,200. So we are supposed to talk about, at this particular point, something to do with the cost of work done. The cost of work done is going to be the difference between these two totals like when you add all these one when you add the total of the all the items on the debit side you're supposed to get a value of five million five million five hundred and eight thousand and we talk about now it should be the same value as the total on the credit side after factoring what is known as the cost of work done so we have a value of five million five hundred and eighty thousand but now <coughs> how do we get the cost of work done it should be this total of this one subtracted from the by uh, the total of these particular two items here and when you do that one, we get a value of. So when you add, you can add. So to fifty thousand plus two million two hundred and two hundred thousand plus one fifty five two hundred, we get that value. We minus it from this one. So we have five million five hundred and eighty thousand minus the answer we get a value of two million nine hundred and seventy four thousand eight hundred this one is referred to as the cost of work done it's supposed to be carried down and I'm going to show you so we carry it down <coughs> after that you're supposed to understand now we have the element of cost of work done you're supposed to get the value of work done and subtract the cost of work done to realize the notional profit so we carry it down here as two million nine hundred and seventy four thousand eight hundred and this one refers to as the cost of work done which has been brought down now on the credit side again we are supposed to have the element of what is known as the value of work done and satisfied the value of work done and satisfied for us to be able to get what is known as the rational oil so the value of work done and certified value of work 
done and certified from the equation we are told well, of work done certified is four million so you're supposed to have four million we are supposed to add the value of work done but not certified we add value of work done but not certified as it has not been approved by the contractee and the value of work, cost of work done not certified is 1.2 million so we have 1.2 million we get a value of 5 million 200,000 this one is essentially the value of work done so this is the value of work done so the value of work done work done is given as that particular value but you realize that from our equation before we say that the only way to get <coughs> the notional or the, the no, notional profit is by getting the value of work done minus the cost of profit eh? the cost of work done so our notional for us to get notional profit we are supposed to talk about value of work done value of work which work done we minus the cost of work that was done and we are talking about 5.2 million minus the cost of work done which is 2 million nine seventy four thousand eight hundred we get a value of national oil of two million two twenty six thousand that way but we are told from the equation we are told from the equation that uh, <coughs> it is the policy of the company to transfer two third of the national oil to the income statement when they transfer two third it means we want to get the value that is taken and this so the value that is transferred to the national oil is referred to as the profit taken okay so for us to get the profit taken profit taken is supposed to be two third times the national oil the national profit sorry we get a value of 1,484,000 it means profit not taken should be the difference between these two should be 2,226,000 one million four hundred and eighty four thousand so profit not taken is essentially equivalent to seven forty two thousand these ones are going to be used as the balancing figure here so we have the cost of work done we add these two elements to be equivalent to the value of work done so supposed to have the profit taken we add profit so we're supposed to add profit taken which is an amount of one million four hundred and eighty four thousand again we add profit not taken 
profit not taken is the same as the profit in suspense okay which is seven forty two thousand when you add these three values you're supposed to get five point two million and then of course we double underline so you can see that this particular contractor made a profit of two million nine hundred seventy four thousand i'll kindly i hope that you enjoy the session and uh, please subscribe share and comment let me know more about your thoughts Thank you very much.